Hi, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. Hey, we have water in our dry cabin. How is that even possible? Well, we wanted to give you a cabin update. We actually haven't done a lot in the last month. Once we moved in right before Thanksgiving, it was just this big, huge sigh of relief. But we did install a water system, which is really great. And what we had here before was a big five gallon jug with our water pump that we showed in another video. And that works good, but you know, it's so high up and our sink is here that we'd get water basically everywhere. So I started looking at a couple of van build videos. So this, so this is great. This is great for a dry cabin or for a, a van build, cargo van build, whatever. And this is exactly where I got that idea from. One of our biggest parameters behind this was uh, not to have something we'd have to charge up because if we do fly up here sometime during the winter time, we don't want to, you know, we may not have our, we won't have a generator or we won't have our, our uh, Rock Pals portable battery power bank that we have, thing that we have. So this is this works great without absolutely any power whatsoever. And I'm going to walk you through this, and I will include all of the the links to all the components in the description below. All right, first things first, we bought the sink at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, Home Depot I think, and we got a, just a really small sink, so this would actually fit in a van build. And then we ordered off of Amazon uh, a cold water only spigot, and this is great because you can move it all around. I can spray Rhonda if I really wanted to. And this just has one simple on off valve right here, so we just keep that on. And then the second hole of the sink, uh, we put a, a dish soap dispenser in. So this really simplifies everything and gets rid of the cl clutter here for us. So this has actually worked really great. All right, well, Lucy wants to tell you all about how our system is set up. I'm going to pull this all out too, but this is, you can see it installed and how simple it is and how this would fit in your van build too. Uh, the first thing though is we have, uh, it's called a whale gusher pump, and this is great. And I've actually screwed this down in, and so far it's been really sturdy in here. We went with this bigger pump, and this is, a, this is a considered a left hand pump because the hose things are coming out the left hand side. There's a little bit of confusion about that sometimes. If you get a right hand pump, these, the inlet and the outlet are going to come off on the right hand side. Uh, so I got this off Amazon, and it's actually a lot cheaper on Amazon versus the... Um, the marine stores. And this one, you'll get water coming when you push down and going up again, uh, a little bit more, a lot more water than just there's like a puck style water pump too. And uh, Rhonda was pretty adamant after being on a boat that we get this type and I'm really, really glad we did. We have two six gallon jugs. These are just bought from Walmart. And that is our fresh water supply right here. And I use a whole separate type of tank here for our gray water. I'm going to pull this out and show you exactly how I did everything here. We bought two six gallon uh, jugs from Walmart. You can use any any type of jug that works for you, works for your space. These fit in here really, really well. And basically what I did is I just took the insert out of here. And fortunately these were just a little bit big and I can show you on this one is that this wants to just kind of pull right through. You can see that. So I did find a solution for that. Uh, so it just depends. A lot of these caps are quite a bit different. So some will work and some won't. And I have the means to fix this one, but I'll show you what I did on this other one for demonstration purposes. Okay, so that back in. And I'll fix that when I'm done. So this one here, what I did, is I couldn't really find any metal washers, but I didn't really need them. It turns out I just have a couple of uh, big heavy rubber washers that I used. And so basically what I did is I used this, uh, it's called a bulkhead fitting, and I went with a company called Freshwater Systems, and they have these quick disconnects. So this is really great. So this is a like a bulkhead fitting. It fits right on top this one here and then in theory you have this nut on the back side that keeps us uh, uh, from from pulling through so basically this 
just holds that all in place. And this one is much more secure because I added the, the rubber washer here. And then there's a, a nut on the back side. And so I put one of these washers on uh, both sides. This is not gonna pull through. And then for the tubing, I went with half inch inside diameter uh, food grade food safe tubing and I attached that to the back side here with a hose clamp. So then uh, that just secures in here like this. Now depending on your space, you can go with one jug or two jugs because we have the space and it just means less amount of time that we have to go get water. Uh, this has two jugs works great. And then we have two other jugs on standby when these run out. So that one goes in there and then I'm gonna put this one back in right now. come back and fix that. And then uh, this one is back in this space here. So I've installed the well gusher pump and then this one right here is uh, what's going to draw the water out from both of these tanks. And what I've done is I, I went with a, a basically a T fitting. So it's basically just a barbed half inch barb on each side and then I've attached the other side of the quick disconnect with a small piece of tubing. So one one tip because on some of these fittings this hose is really really hard to get on. Uh, you can actually help yourself by heating these up. So you can use a hair dryer or a heat gun or in our case because our wood stove is right there I just stuck it in there for just a really short period of time heated it up and then I was just able to jam that hose right on those. So whatever works best for you. And then this way, as I'm making a mess, dumping water, uh, I'll just attach these behind here. And those just clip right in. So I don't know if you can see, see this quick disconnect button there. It just pulls that right out. It's so easy and so nice. So yeah, whatever works. And then this one right here is the outlet. So when the pump brings the water up from the jugs, brings it through the pump, and then this tubing right here is going up to our sink. And then I had to use a fitting, I believe it was 3 8 to a half inch barb on the, the sink. And then, uh, so what do we do for our gray? We decided to go with a, a closed jug for the gray. And so far this has worked out really well, minus what little is issue we're having. So we may end up changing that, but we're not sure yet on that. With this jug, this cap right here, this fitting fit in here perfectly without pulling out. So this type of jug is, uh, is really, really good. So these are half inch. These fittings here are half inch inside diameter. This one is a uh, three quarter inch, so it does drain a little, uh, quite a bit faster. I've seen some people go with a uh, half inch drain and that just seems a little bit uh, too small for a gray. And so this just goes, this just fits right in here like that. And then here's our drain. It also is a quick disconnect, and then when this starts to fill full, we'll just disconnect that and just dump that out. Um, what I did here also is, uh, this is actually an RV. This is uh, this particularly is made for van build, so this just hooks to the bottom without any adapters or anything, um, and I'll put a link to this, but this uh, hooks up to the sink drain, so you have a nice little bowl here, and then you have a three quarter inch inside diameter tube, but that I have cut down to size. Uh, this actually comes with a different type of fitting if you have a, an outside drain and then I just attach that to the to that type of fitting there. So this is great and then we still have room in here for our garbage and uh, 12 gallons of water for us last quite a while so this has been a huge 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 upgrade for us. And then that uh, get water and we just do that. This is great. We'll just uh, push it a fit. We get water. Oh, I'm wasting so much water, but ooh, this is so awesome. It's so much easier to do 
dishes and get Rhonda if I wanted to. <laughs> Uh, one of the potential problems we might have to rethink is um, we have to absolutely make sure that no food particles go down, which is actually a good thing for us because we don't want to draw, dump any gray around here with any food particles, uh, especially in the summer when we have more bear activity. But you know, even now there's critters and they'll want to smell any food out there, so we have to be really careful of that. But even the smallest of smallest of particles would get caught up behind uh, behind the valve and clog it up, and then our sink won't drain. So we have to really be like extra, extra cautious about that. So it's just something to think about um, as you potentially build your own system in a van or a tiny home with no water. But uh, so far, this has worked out awesome for us.